Hi, we are from Group A2. For this project, we are required to design a technical system by using a programming. Programming code are designed and developed to control the movement of the stranger and the conveyor belt. The project can be divided into two, part, two main parts, such as wiring and designing the system by using Raspberry Pi. In the wiring phase, the wires are connected in a correct way from Raspberry Pi to the both input and output of the device. During designing phase, Python programming is written to read the input and control the output of the of the project to meet the objective. What is Raspberry Pi? Raspberry Pi is a, a computer that is small that can be connected to monitor and standard keyboard and mouse to be operated. It can also uh, explore more computing and does everything a computer. Hello, hello everyone, I'm going to discuss about the PLC function. Right now, over here, we have the relay, relay A and relay B. The relay's function is to move the motor. The motor will move the conveyor belt. We need the conveyor belt to move our box and let the ping pong ball drop into the box. Second, we have four solenoids. Each of the solenoids connected to the valve. And this valve, they actually will pump the air from the main pump. Okay, the pump will move the solenoid and the solenoid will actually control the movement of the ball by retracting. We have two feeders in the PLC. This is actually to drop the ball into the feeder and the solenoid will contract the to control the movement of the ball. Now we have the box. We have two proximity sensors fixed to the PLC. This proximity sensor will actually detect the presence of any metal placed on the box. This will stop the flow of the box and let the ball fall into the box. Hi everyone, now I will explain about the designation of our box. This is our box where we put a transparent plastic sheet over here so that we can clearly see the number of ball that is being thrown at a time. And here is the metal sheet where the proximity sensor can sense and the ball, will, the ball will start to drop. If you see from above, we choose the design where we slanted the sheet a bit so that the ball can roll easily and come downward here. Okay, now I will demonstrate about how the ball will be thrown from here to here. So you can see here from here clearly. So when the ball goes down, you can clearly see the number of balls being thrown at a time because there is a sequence where we choose the sequence we choose is 3, 3, 1, 1 where 3 balls will be thrown at a time, another 3 balls will be thrown at a time, then 1 ball and 1 more. Okay, hi. Um, today I will explain about the methodology of this experiment. Uh, first, we are going to look uh, for the relay. The, uh, there's two relay which is uh, we name it as a relay A and a relay B. For the relay A, we got and and relay B, we got two wire which is the red and black. And the black wire will connect to the circuit board which is uh, will connect to the uh, Raspberry Pi, and the red wire will connect to the 24 volt positive power supply which is over here. Okay. Same goes to relay B and, and relay A will connect to GPIO 24 and relay B will connect to GPIO 17. And next we are going for the kinematic valve. There are four kinematic valve. It's one, two, three and four. Same as the relay, we got two wires, which is the red and the black. And the red wire will connect to the positive 24 volt power supply, and the black wire will connect to the Raspberry Pi. As for the GPIO, the left bottom 
Which is right here The left bottom will connect to GPIO 21 The left top will connect to GPIO 5 uh, The right bottom This one will connect to GPIO 19 And the right top will connect to GPIO 16 And the last one I'm going to talk about the sensor which is over here, right here. This is the sensor uh, which is, we call it proximity sensor. Uh, there are two sensors. Sensor got three wire. Three wire which is uh, brown, brown, blue and black. The blue wire will connect to negative 24 volt and the brown color will connect to positive 24 volt terminal and the black one will connect to the uh, circuit board as a data port and the red sensor will connect to GPIO 22 and the left sensor will connect to GPIO 27 Alright, uh, this is the magnetic sensor the magnetic sensor have two wire, which is the brown and the blue wire. Uh, the brown wire will connect to positive terminal 24 volt, and the blue wire will connect to the uh, Raspberry Pi. Uh, it will connect to GPIO 18. For my parts, I will talk about process and the result. Um, the, uh, we will put the box. The process is we put the box at the conveyor, and base, the conveyor will move according to our body. Okay. When when we running the body, we will press the black button so that the conveyor will move. And when it move, the proximity sensor will detect the metal plate, and then it will. The feeder will drop three balls, three pimples ball into the box, and then it will move forward to the second proximity sensor and reset the metal plate, and it also will release three more pimples ball, and then the conveyor will move move backward to the first feeder, and it will release one pimples ball, and it will move forward again, and it stop and it will release another one.
conclusion, we achieved our main objective, which is to develop a handling system by integrating various sensors and actuation systems with our Asperify microcontroller. Okay, I think from this project, there is a lot of things that I learned. First, I think about, I get to know and learn how the PSC works and also how it related to the industrial production. Okay, what I get from this project is that uh, I can have a better understanding from what I have learned from the uh, lecture. What do I get from this experiment is that uh, theoretically I understand it a little bit but when I do it, I do this experiment, I understand more because I know about how the wiring is connected, how the sensor works and the conveyor and all that. So this is the best experience that I get from this experiment. So from this experiment, I get to learn a lot of things. The main thing is actually how to integrate coding from Python in Raspberry Pi and into a PLC system. And how to switch the PLC system in circuit and the complexity of the circuit. Okay, for me personally, I, I learned that working in team can be challenging. And throughout this project, I improved my teamwork skills and I also learned how to code in Python and do wiring in PLC which I hope will be helpful in my future